Hello and welcome to the International Bacon Server. My name is Ender A. Wiggin, and this is the first episode of the series that I'm going to call Multiplayer Solutions for the Modern Minecrafter. Uh, what you see before me is my special project on the server. I'm the server admin, um, if you haven't watched our intro video. And I'm going to show you the first uh, portion that I've built so far. Um, this used to be a old uh, sand quarry, and I had a lot of sand left over, so I decided to build this, and it's my big project. What I'm going to be looking at today are these doors which I built. Uh, they're what's called an iris door, although I've made it in kind of a creeper face, which is fun. Um, and an iris door means that it's a 3x3, three three, but the block in the middle is open, so you can get shot through there if it's a skeleton, so it's not, it's not quite as good as a, um, a true 3x3 three three door, but it's a lot more space efficient. So what's special about this particular iris door is that on this side I can go through using pressure plates on the floor, but this side I have to use a button and it waits for me to go over the pressure plates to close. And that functionality is important because that means it's very hard to actually leave the door open and mobs can't get inside unless they're they can't open the door unless they're already inside so I'm gonna probably hop over to the single player world and show you the the redstone mechanics um, yet yeah, this is just the rest of my of my little project here so I'm gonna hop over there right now okay here we are in the creative world this is the bare bones model. Um, I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but um, I haven't found any better ways. This down here is a T flip flop, which is hooked up to the buttons. So when you hit the button once, it triggers a T flip flop, opens the mechanism. The mechanism is pretty standard. You just run, you just run it up on either side, and then run it over here and then the bottom one is just powered with this torch from here. Pretty standard in that case. Um, but the buttons, if you press it once, closes, press it again, opens because it's hooked up to this T flip flop here. Just your standard one wide T flip flop. Um, it, I'm sure most of you have seen that. Uh, the interesting part that I had to come up with was uh, how to make the pressure plates um, kind of work separately from the buttons so that even when the, the T flip flop was in a certain state the um, the pressure plates would still trigger it and how that works is that there's two different um, states to how the pressure plates can interact with the mechanism and that's done down here through this piston when the when the door is closed and it can tell through that piston whether the door is closed or not uh, it makes it impossible for the for the pressure plates to send a signal to the T flip flop S but it, instead it sends it down here to the mechanism and it just opens the door so as soon as you as soon as you get off of them it closes again so it just gives you enough time to get through but when you're coming the other way and the door is open it allows the it allows the pressure plates to uh, to activate the T flip flop and close the door as soon as you get through so um, I hope you all understood that uh, leave a comment if you have any comments on my uh, explanation how I could do better also uh, if you if you want me to do a tutorial on this then leave a comment I might be able to arrange that um, but if there's not significant interest I won't do one because you can see this if you want the world download um, I would like to supply it and I have no problem with supplying it with the world download but I don't really know how so unless someone can give me instructions on how to do that really easily then that probably won't happen um, so yeah, I'm going to hop back to the multiplayer world and we'll finish off the episode. Oh yeah, and I should restate, we're not accepting applications for the server. We're not. It's just a local server. 
so yeah this is my is my project so far you'll probably get to see the other parts of the server at some point if you keep watching say subscribed uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek of the next episode is going to be my minecart station that I'm working on here so yeah if you want to see that stay subscribed that'll be the next episode thank you for watching